And by the way, I'm not hating on weave. I used weave when I was transitioning. You know, I, I had a um a half wave and I used to bantu knot my hair in the front and put the half wave on the back. And it looks like I had natural hair, but okay. Um And then she does mention a good point. She says about how she's talking about white women. She's saying how um, most of them dye their hair, which is to get to be blonde, because there's not that many um, natural blondes out there. So that is true. That, that was right away. Um, uh, and she's saying, and then she says, um, yes, black. But she's saying not black women, and then she's. Okay, the reason she brought up um, the white women and them dyeing their hair is because she's trying, and them getting um, tans, is because she's trying to say that it's not just black women who have the problem, which is true, because we uh, we'll have the problem of um, wanting to change themselves, I say, I'll say that, because we do have that problem, obviously. Yeah. And um, she says that, well, I'll say that. You know, there's a lot of other races that self-hate also, like, um, not just even on hair, but like, um, like Indians, and even the Indians from India, and, um, like Mexicans, and, um, well, that's all I can think of on the top of my head, kind of, but anyway, they, they feel as though darker skin is less beautiful as a lighter skin tone. You know, where have we heard that before? Of course, that plagues our community as well. Ours as in black people. <clears throat> it's just crazy. Um, and because she keeps mentioning this, I'm going to keep mentioning it. She keeps talking about the black women with long, healthy hair, and then that, that person with the natural hair that won't grow. <clears throat> Those are cases. Um, you can't just, like I said, she keeps just basing all her facts off probably like two people, like one relaxed hair that's healthy and one natural hair that's, you know, I don't know what's going on here. Um, okay, let's go. I'm going to talk about the natural Nazis. Like I said, I've never seen one of their videos. I don't know if I really want to see one of their videos because as far as I'm concerned, I heard that they feel as though, you know, if you do any type of style to your hair, whether it's a twist out or what, then that's not natural. And, you know, or, you know, I don't know, I could be mistaken. Like I said, I've never watched any of their videos. Who knows, I might watch one. But I'm not a natural Nazi. I believe, you know, you wear your hair the way you want to wear your hair. You know, all of, I think that's fine. I just want your hair to be healthy. If you can have healthy, relaxed hair, you go on. Go, go for it, okay? If you can have healthy natural hair, go for it, okay? You know, if you, if you want a texturizer, and, hey, you do it. You do it with you. You do you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I also wanted to talk about the safe, I mean, the um, self-hate. I don't think getting relaxers means that you're self-hating yourself. Well, that's kind of weird, self-hating yourself. That's your self-hating. Um... Because I feel as though, like, I got my last one when I was 10. I did it, well, I was bothering my mom about it because I was tired of her pressing my hair and then braiding, like, like not single braiding it or stuff like that. And I was, just, I was just tired of that. Like, I was 10 years old and I just, I was like, okay, you know, this is too much. That's the reason I got a relaxer. I didn't get a relaxer because I hated my hair or anything like that. And also, I wanted to go along with, um, the, like, the rest of my friends and stuff. So I kind of went to followed the crowd, um, but I didn't do it because I thought my hair was awful and disgusting and stuff like that, and that's how I feel like most black women get a relaxer, they don't do it because they're self-hating their hair, they just do it because they want to, they want, they want it to be, and I hate using this word, I'm not going to use that word, I was going to say manageable, but I'm not going to use that word, they just want their hair to probably be like everyone else, and they just want it to style it faster. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, that's my opinion, and, um, and, okay, I wrote another definition. Self-hating to me means when you cannot accept your natural beauty. 
It means when you think or talk badly about natural hair or any type of um, facial feature that you don't like, say, oh my god, my nose is so huge, I hate it, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get a nose job. To me, that's self hate. Now, if you were to just be like, I want my nose to be a little bit smaller, I'm going to get a nose job. That, to me, that's not self hate. Okay? Um, that, that was just an example of the nose. But, um, yeah. Basically, self-hating to me is when you try to look like a different race. If you get all this done just to look like a different race so you don't look like the race that you are. Okay. Um, I feel as though this YouTuber, as I said her name was, I'll put it on the side. I feel like she got her relaxer. I don't think that she self-hates. I think that she just got her relaxer to get a relaxer. You know, to go along with the crowd. Like, I, I feel like that's what most people do. Um, I mean, I, there are some people out there that could never imagine themselves with natural hair. You know, that's sad. Hey, whatever. That's up for you. Okay. Now, my last, the last few things I wanted to talk about with this video is, um, I wanted to tell her that her video isn't going to stop the natural Nazis, especially because he based... Well, you, you kind of bash natural hair throughout your whole video, throughout, throughout the whole, like, 11 minutes. So that's not going to really get the na natural Nazis to stop talking, like, stop being, let's stop being rude. <laughs> but, um, there are better ways to try to get your point across. Um, she should have just said, or and I'll just say right now, Black women, we look good with any type of hair. Do what looks best for you, okay? If your hair is healthy, well, first of all, the main your main concern is your hair being healthy. If it's healthy, then okay, do whatever you want. If it's not healthy, then something needs to change. If you have natural hair and it's not healthy, you need to get your intro, you need to figure out what you're doing wrong, you need to fix it. If you have relaxed hair, you need to change your whole hair care. Um, routine and you need to try to make it work. If it doesn't work and if the hair is still dry, damaged and really, really, really bad, you might need to just cut it, go natural for a year, try it out, you know, if you don't like it, you can relax it, but I'm pretty sure your hair will grow. That's all I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say about this video, you know. Um, we need to um, love ourselves, we need to embrace ourselves as black women. We need to stop dividing ourselves between this natural hair and relax hair because I just need to stop and um actually yesterday I was at Walmart and it was like raining and everything I was like trying to hurry up and um get in the car and this girl was like ma'am 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 and I turned up and I was like yes she was like I love your hair that's what she said and she was young too she was probably like like maybe 17 she, she had relaxed hair and I was like oh thank you because lately a lot of um black women with natural hair have been I mean with relaxed hair have been um, complimenting on my, me on my hair, which makes me feel great. Makes me feel like, hey, maybe you will think about going back to But I don't know. Okay, bye, you guys. This is all I had to say for this video. Bitter response. Wait, what's, what's the title of this video? Bitter response to the video named Hair, Self-Hate, and All That BS by M-A-I-P-A-I-101. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Don't get mad at me.